Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Mike, and welcome back to AXC Garage. In today's episode, we are back with William Phoenix Yellow ITR. On a previous episode, we have done some minor refresh, including some painting, installing the OEM factory body kit, and also the OEM fog lamps. And today, the car is back for some upgrades. Let's go over there and take a look at what we got. All right, first thing on the list, spoon trim block caliper set. Let's go ahead and open the boxes and see what we got here. Here it is guys, spoon, four piston, twin block caliper, super light, super good looking. So along with the kit, it comes with some hardware and also installation instruction in English and also Japanese. Let's go ahead and get the car on the lift, get the wheels off and get these things on. All right, so the wheels is off. Next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and remove the factory caliper. The Spoon Sports Twin Block Calipers are all done. They really good enhance the braking power on this ITR. Thanks for the four piston design. Next up, we got some brand new wheels and tires. Let's go take a look. Guys, here's the wheels and tires package that we have for the Integra Type R. Brand new Spoon Sport SW388, 16 by seven and a half with a plus 30 offset. For the tires, we have a set of Bridgestone Pretenser RE71R. Let's go ahead and open the box and see how they look.
Well, here it is, guys. SW388, one of the most iconic wheel in the tuna world. Let's go find out how much it's weight. Here it is, guys. 13.6 pounds for 16 by 7.5 Spoon Sport 388 wheels. Not bad. The wheels and tires are all done, mount and balanced. Let's go and put them on the car. As for the lug nuts, we opted for a set of Chasing J titanium lug nuts. This could look really nice with the caliper. Wow, classic OG look. Funny how a set of wheel changed out the entire look of the car. And these Chasing J titanium lug nuts complement really well with a spoon caliper. And we're not done yet. Mix up, exhaust system. So talking about the exhaust system, up next we have the Spoon Sport N1 rear section. Very, very nice constructions. So 
So let's go ahead and get the car up in the air, get the original muffler off and go and get this installed. If the exhaust is all done it sounds amazing so next thing let's go ahead and uh, get the car down and we got some special for the interior Here it is guys, we got a set of yellow Tomcats for the DC2. I'm not quite sure it's 100% original material, but it's really, really clean. Now I got John right over there, he's setting up the seat rails. Hello. How are we doing over there? All right, trying to get everything set up. These are a little different than your aftermarket rails. These are real JDM rails for a DC2. A friend of ours got them from Japan for his Integra but he couldn't use these rails since they're DC2 and he had a DA. So, I'm just taking off these mounting brackets. These parts mount to the seats, and then this mounts to the rails. So we're gonna attach the brackets to the seats, then attach the rails to the brackets, then put the seats in the car. That's the plan. I hope it goes that way. So the first thing we're gonna do is, we're gonna go ahead and take out the original seat. So the only thing we need off the old seats is the seatbelt buckle. To get to the seatbelt buckle, we have to pull this 14 off, but there's a, a little cover here with a couple screws in it. The driver's seat, well, no, what's that? Yeah, the driver's seat has no cover, just the bolt. So let's take this apart. All 
Now it's time to go ahead and put on the rails now. So these are the brackets that are gonna mount to the seats right here, and then the rails mount to this. Super simple, just three 10 millimeter bolts on each side. All the SR3 seats are pretty much the same. original cover go back on. That's pretty cool. So we have these little covers here. These you never really end up seeing. They're really nice that they came with these rails and they cover these little caps, cover the nuts here on the side. Just like that, super simple. Very nice. The interior is all done. Next up, we have a set of spoon sport cooling hoses here, along with some uh, factory coin. Let's go ahead and get a car up on the lift and uh, drain out the coin. So the cooling system is all drained out. We went ahead to remove this distributor. Normally you don't have to do it. We did it because we want to have a perfect clean installation. And once we remove the distributor, guess what we find? An aftermarket hose clamp in front of the factory hose clamps. Wow, sometimes you don't know what you find. So let's go ahead and uh, remove everything here and get the new hose in.
So to finish up the cooling system, we got ourselves a brand new OEM reservoir cap and a hose right over here. Now it's gonna look really nice under the engine bay. Guys, check it out. We just got ourselves a set of brand new Santa Cat for the SW388. Big thank you to Spoon Sports USA. All right, next up we have a set of Spoon Sports latest generation carbon fiber outside mirror. Now these mirrors are power, so all we have to do is de-pin the factory harness and put this pin in. So next up, let's go ahead and remove the door panel and remove the factory mirror. All right, so we got the pen back to the original OEM plugs. So let's go ahead and put them in. This spoon carbon fiber mirrors fits great and it looks amazing. We've got one more item to go before we finish this project. Let's go take a look. Yep, so the last item we have, spoon wiper blade set. Let's take a look.
all these spoon sports security along with the yellow Tomcat Ricardo seat really changed up the look on this Phoenix Yellow ITR. We'll take a quick moment and thank Spoon USA to send us all these awesome parts. If you guys like what you see, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to our channel. This is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you guys on the next one.